I want to share a few key pieces of advice here. Number one is to really focus first on seeking advice, right? Reach out to your contacts to seek advice in your desired uh, areas of industry or companies to get advice and insights on the company, the role, the culture, the people, because their insider knowledge can really help guide you through that inner move there. Number two is to really communicate your goals as well. Once you've got, really got to know them or share more about it, communicate your goals clearly of what you're looking for. One of the common feedback I hear from my, my own network is that people aren't really clear of what exactly they're looking for, or they may say that I'm open to anything, or it could be anything. And it's really hard for someone to help you when you don't clearly articulate what is it that you're truly looking for there. So one of my strategy that I teach my clients is to Really try to describe in a way of what your ideal role is in a way that they could visualize a person or an opportunity or company that they could introduce you to there. The next piece is really around leveraging those existing relationships that you already have, right? Start with the network you have, right? The warm network where you feel comfortable to get your feet wet, right? Because they already somewhat know you already, right? They know a bit about your strengths, your background. Now, if they haven't really worked with you, they may not know exactly what you have done. So it's really important to have these messages ready as well in terms of your branding messages of what you bring to the table so that they can also recommend you to someone else there. The next piece here is my advice is really to be being open to new opportunity and possibilities. While I say you want to be clear, but sometimes that let's say that opportunity or the company may not be on your radar, you want to have an open mind right? Because you just never know what may open up just by having that open uh, possibilities mindset there, okay? Be receptive of those new possibilities. And one of the things I always ask about it, if you have actually developed a genuine relationship and trust, most of the time, like I just from my experience is that if you really have built that, people will ask like, how can I help you? At the end, they're like, how can I help you? How can I serve you? What would be helpful there, right? Ask, make an ask. What is it that you want to ask? Is it either an introduction or is it, you know, learning more about the company, whatever that is, get really clear what's that next ask and what you want to learn about that will give you that advantage there. I once had a client who made a huge transition from working in the public sector uh, as a campaign manager to pivoting into tech. He talked to over a dozen people in this one company. Like I introduced him, his classmate introduced him, and then my connection introduced him. And what the way he did it was also really general, not just through introductions, but he really showed a keen interest in the company. He did his research, he read a lot of industry reports, understood the challenges there. And at the end of the day, multiple people back for him, like not just me, but his own friends as well. And that really gave that essentially that, um, that trust factor, the credibility factor to help him move forward into this new area there. A lot of times people ask me like, you know, is it possible? Like, is it possible to make a big change? through networking. I absolutely believe that even though especially when you don't have a strong reputation, a strong brand, or credibility in this new sector, in this new area, you really want to essentially leverage your own network who could help you uh, as well or develop those new relationships there.